Well, I wanted to show off my piece of my new, my new arsenal. Uh, a good friend of mine hooked me up with this uh, Motley Sand Scoop. And of course, he asked what color I wanted. Well, yeah, I think yellow worked pretty good. So we're going to give it a shot today. I really like the way they got this thing designed. Uh, I think the last run they had, these little corner shot, shots right here, they added them to stabilize a little bit more, keep it uh, keep it a little bit more strength. So this is the first time I've had this scoop out, so we're going to give it a shot and see how we like it. And I got me a uh, good carbon fiber shaft on it, which ought to hold up real good. Boats in from the bottom, so secure. I've also got a place for a pin right there if I wanted to drill my my uh, handle out and stick one through there. I apologize if I'm mumbling too much. This is real early in the morning and uh, let's see what we can do. Well, we got a new adventure going today. We're hitting, uh, we're going to be on St. John's River, hitting a couple of swim spots and trying to dodge all the alligators that may be coming up to, to greet us. Early morning hour, so the, the gators are a little bit more active this morning than they usually are in the afternoon. But we got Florida Rob, we got the Captain Nemo. And we're off. Alright, we're gonna go to a place called Bullshit Hill. <laughs> it really is. I, I, I take it that's where a lot of the drunks go. That's right. The party, party spot. All the best stories are told. Best I thought it was something else, Bill. What was it? You said you see over there? No, it really is. We have Hollywood, Bullshit Hill, and another unnamed location. <laughs> Unnamed location. I like the sound of that. I'll right, show you when we get there. So you feel something tugging back on you. All right, we're out of the first location. Getting, yeah, I see that. Getting ready to get out. First thing I want to do is show off my new, uh, my new treasure. I've got me a brand new Motley scoop. That's a nice carbon scoop, fiber right? handle. Fastens there on the bottom. Got a place to drill out through the uh, carbon fiber shaft if you want to do that. He's got extra protections there on the side. All right, we're gonna get in the water and see what it'll do. I'm hoping it'll draw draw the go to me. Well, we got some campers out here at this location. I uh, got the basket out and uh, first coin of the day ended up being is my new Motley scoop. Got a quarter. Boy, that's all going deep too. Cut right through that mud down the bottom. I brought the, the basket because there is a lot of packed mud. Once you get a scoop up, you can shake for five minutes to get it on down. So if you throw it in the basket, you throw it in the basket there. And I've got my pin pointer rigged up where I use it and then scan it and find it a whole lot quicker than shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. So uh, Motley came through for the first first quarter of the morning. Is it a quarter? Well, I think I got a quarter here. And I got it. I think I got it in the basket. I mean, the scoop. And I did. Another quarter out of the Motley. All right, I got me another, another good cone out of the Motley. And I got me another quarter. Hey Rob, how many quarters have I got? You got four now. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a pocket still. Ah, uh, must be. I'm going to leave the camera on for a couple minutes and see if I can locate another one. Of course, now I done jinked it. All right, I'm here in a 32. That's probably a pull tab. Oh, there's another. I think Rob's going to be wrong this time. I think it's going to be a dime.
get my foot on it. Scoop in place. You can tell I'm right in chest deep water. Alright, let's see if I got it. Scan over it and see if I got it. Nope. Get my foot back in place. Get the scoop right beside my toe. Man, this water's black. Don't know if I said anything earlier. This is the second spot we've hit. The first one we get out there and the <laughs> uh, local alligator was out there, so we didn't bother. All right, I think I got it out that time. I'm gonna throw in the basket this time since I brought it. See if we, we can find it a little bit better that way. <clears throat> Get it up and scoop. Nice, nice, Alright, focus in, bud. Focus in. Right there. Got me a dime. Slowly it's starting to come up. Well, I was heading back towards uh, the boat, and uh, Todd said, uh, what's that swimming behind you? <laughs> my rope come loose off my my belt, and my box in my pinpoint is floating away. I'm about to catch up with it, though. That's not the first time it's happened, either. I've got to put me a little... Uh, hook on it where I can fasten it so it won't come untied because you know just like boat anchors you know you tie a boat anchor on a rope and use it several times and uh, if you don't have it hitched on there somehow that knot will come loose and you'll lose your boat anchor so that's what's happened with this one so I finally got it so we're back we're back to where we were we we'll have to double knot it I guess maybe that'll last a little bit longer all right stay with me Well, I think I got something in the scoop. Kind of hard digging out here. I do. I got a coin. Just a penny. Or is that a dime? Yeah, it's copper. Yep. Beautiful lake scene out here. We had one of the, uh, Local party areas out here in the St. John's River. In fact, we got some uh, overnight campers down that way. See Rob, Nemo's further on out. I love just coming out to this river anyway. Beautiful scenery. See if we can find something else. Well, I just got out of the deep water. I couldn't do no filming. I did get pick up a couple more coins. And I thought I had one right here, but I, <laughs> I don't. So I'm going to go back down and look for it again. So I'm just going to leave the camera on. There it is. It's showing. It's showing deep, deep. So I just haven't got to it yet. Water is black, black, black. Even with my motley yellow painted scoop. Stay on this side of it. It uh, once it gets down there, so you can see it there. Now that's probably maybe a foot and a half. So you can see it a little bit. See if I got it this time, not. No, I don't. Man, that is. Oh, this, I knew it was deep. If I can get down there again. All these targets in here in this river have been extra deep. It really makes it hard to get to them. Look at where people are jumping in the water like lunatics. 
Might have it, I don't know. We'll try one more time on this target. Nothing. Wow. All right, I'll try a couple more times to show you whatever it is. Yeah, usually, very next scoop, I get it up. It was a quarter. New style on top of that. All right, we're going to uh, load back up and go to another swim spot and see if we can do any better there. So, all right, stay tuned. We're in a, we're in a local swimming area, and they got several rope swings out through out. There he goes. Bam! That all the way up the top of that tree. That is up there too. Yeah, I'm sure he hit bottom. All right, we got another. We got another jumper. He's thinking about it. He don't know if he wants to do it or not. I would be too. He's been committed. He's got to go. I right, he's trying to get his courage up. Oh my god, I can see him short. I don't know. He's still not sure. He's he's looking he's looking at the tree trunk walking back down. He might he might try and lay on his feet. Well I'm trying down. <laughs> Oh, he's thinking about it. Come on, y'all encourage himself. Come on, he can do it. There he goes. Good job, buddy. Another jumper coming up. There you go. Oh, I let go too soon. <laughs> <laughs>